Greetings and welcome back everyone to XCOM 2. We're in the last episode. We completed a mission over yonder. A flawless mission. We may or may not have dispelled Marbazia's curse. I'm not entirely sure on that one. But in the beginning of this episode, we're going to continue making contact with New Australia, which will hopefully be in time for our supply drop. It will be in time for our supply drop, which is probably going to be 50% less than normal, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of bad. But I don't know. Hello there. I would say that looks like Australia, but honestly, almost all of the havens look like Australia these days. Right, to serve mankind. Recruits cost 10 supplies. That's actually quite nice. Not one I'm likely to use, though, unfortunately. We just don't seem to be in need of that many new recruits. Now, I think going to grab some intel would probably be a good idea. While we wait for our supplies to drop, and then we can go and grab those. Possibly, maybe, almost certainly upgrade some of our weapons as well when that happens. We've only got three days before then. Ooh, sign up training. Stasis is now complete. Very well. I would like you to learn sustain. If the Psyop takes enough damage to be killed, they are immediately put into stasis for one turn and their health is only reduced to one HP. This can only happen once per mission. I like it. I like it a lot. They're both learning sustain at the moment. Wonderful. I've already got that one. I wonder why it keeps asking me if I want to upgrade it again. Very peculiar, that. Very peculiar indeed. Alright, let's continue. I've got an idle engineer at the moment. There we go. Sustain has been completed by midnight. Now you can go for stasis shield. Stasis can be cast on allies, rendering them immune to any attack and, and stunned for one turn. I wonder if there's anything after that level of training, or if at that point you pretty much are just a god. And here we go, let's see. How do you feel? Oh, wait, no! I thought that was the, um, I thought that was like the uh, supply briefing, but no. We've got a, a mission. Shadow Chamber's telling us there's an elite officer, an elite trooper, an elite shield bearer, an Andromedon, a mutant, a gatekeeper, and an elite lancer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got two of something. But that's it. Uh, a lot of supplies, a lot of intel. Neutralize the target in Advent Vehicle. Operation Ghost Hawk. Very well. I think we Chile. shall. Off to Chile we go. Oh no, I haven't got any tea in my teacup. It ran out in the last recording. I didn't make another one. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, someone's going to be dead on this mission. I hate to break it to you like this, but uh, true facts. Pretty good group. Well, it's a pretty good group. However, I am not bringing you along with all of this. You can grab, uh, I don't know, ha hazmat suit or something. I am afraid that midnight is coming along for this one. There we go, midnight. And I would like you to have a mimic beacon, though we're not actually using them that much. But the battle scanners are definitely very, very nice. Now, I would like to edit Raoul Foxington's. Oh, we've got combat stims. Focus, advanced agility. Uh, no, you do not get close enough to things to generally be hurt. So we're not going to worry about that one just yet. But I would like to have a look at your weapon. You've got an advanced stock, which gives us a, a chance of an instant kill. Uh, sorry, no, two extra damage on a miss. I don't think that we need that on a sniper. I would really like a ex superior expanded magazine because that means when you go into kill zone, you'll be able to make six shots on full ammo. That is something I really, really would like. I'm gonna go for Will. Go ahead, enjoy. Uh, Marb is here. Nope. You already got Will, I believe. No, you do not. Oh, damn, I should have given you Will. Oh, well, you can have dodge instead. Just make you even harder to kill. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we are definitely bringing Dark Avac. There's a big part of me that, that is wondering if I should bring Shan instead. Yes, actually, I think we should bring Shen instead. 
Look, okay, I'm worried about your curse. I know it may be gone, but I, I can't take that risk. Not right now. It's a good mission. It's got lots of good stuff. Also, I don't have tea, so I need the, uh, the extra bonus to make sure that we get through this alive. Okay. Launch bridge. It's only a difficult one, though. So, that being said, might not be too bad. I need to start dropping things into the... Um, I forget the name of the building, but uh, the area where I can make advanced ammo and advanced armor. The Proving Grounds. There we are. I was thinking of it. We're beginning with C. But we're going to need to get some more advanced ammo, I think. Also, the blue screen protocol. Okay. Target is being moved by advent forces through this area via one of their transport vehicles. Capture right. the VIP if possible. Engage as needed. Don't let the alien forces stand in your way. Okay, well, we'll do what we can. Everyone looks like, eh, quietly confident. They don't even jump when the lights suddenly change and there's that big warning siren. They're used to this. Complete professionalism. All the time. Menace one five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. He is literally inside a muton. Oh, that's not too bad. Very close. We're in a concealed position. Good, 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 good. Right, first and foremost, Rao. Want you up there if you can be. No, you can't be? Okay, fine. Is there anyone else you can be? Nope, 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 and nope, nope again. That's fine. Go there. You can be far enough away from most people that you're not going to be seen. That's a good position to be at. Right, from there, you can engage. If we need you to. Raya? Kind of need you to move forward. Uh, first, though, we're going to be moving Dark Avac. Dark Avac can get quite far. Dark Avac. See, I know there's a couple around there. Would they be able to see over there? Let's not risk it, shall we? Moving. Hostiles making there the rounds. We they were a little bit further back than I remembered. Very well. Uh, at this point, then, we can afford to move Briar quite far up. Yes. Running. Oh, that was Shen. Wasn't it? Briar, I meant to move that far up. Oh, well. We could have Briar over here instead, which I would like. On the move. Let's get ourselves into a position where we can just wipe them out fairly easily. If I can annihilate this entire pod in the first turn, I would be very happy with that. Running. And midnight. Let's get you forward as well. Got it. Okay. Well, we'll prop into Overwatch for now. Scanning. Oh dear, they're going straight down past Briar. That's not what I wanted. Oh, they spotted you Watch from there? The wow. Oh, well. That's unfortunate because that next turn would have been amazing. Oh, well. One down. Good. You didn't take out the shield bearer. I kind of want Midnight to capture that one. You want some more? Oh, well. Everyone gets to keep their awesome ability sent for another turn or two. Go for a shot on him, please. Yes. Critical. Very nice indeed. And you can also take a free shot. Four to seven. Uh, uh, yeah, you might take him out. And if you do... Awesome. You've actually not used pretty much any actions by taking that one out. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Alright, Midnight, I would really like the Shield Bearer to be on our side for the rest of this mission. There we go. Right. No one knows we were here. 
gloriousness incarnate. If I move you over here, you might have a position on the enemy. You might be able to see them from over there. I'm not sure about that one, though. We'll see. We know the enemy are just around there. We've taken out three of the enemy. There were only nine, so there's two pods. We know there are two mutons here, but nothing else about that area. You know what, Midnight? I want you to move. Ah, oh, you've already taken your turn. Damn. Okay, Dark Abac. I'd like you to be up there. From there, we can move you elsewhere. Okay, good. They haven't spotted us. Let's conceal. Should have done that first, but I forgot. Thankfully, Dark Avak is basically Batman. Moving to position. Okay, we've got three there now. Still can't see the other pod. They're going to be awkward because I need to extract them without hurting the VIP. Into the VIP. Target identity confirmed. Where on earth is the other one now? Where are you hiding? Um, what I'd really like is to have some sort of overwatch in this area. So, with that in mind, I'm actually going to move you down to where Shenra is in a moment. Shen, let's move you up a little bit. All right, I'll go. You can still be an Overwatch from here. Tombstone. I want you down there. On the next turn, you're going to be going into Overwatch. There we go. Or rather, kill zone. You only have five. Um, opportunity, five points to do that, but it's fine. I could move Miss Carson L all the way up there if I wanted to, or all the way over there. But I think Kia will do good enough. Got it. Moving. Your phantom ability is amazing, Chris. By the way. There we go. Shen is in a decent enough position. Rystone, don't want to move you too far forward. Here would probably be good enough for now. Heading out. Just get a little further away from that corner so we've got better line of sight. You can go for squad sight from where you are. We're not going to, but obviously. Moving to Overwatch. Can I not do anything with you? Apparently not. Is that it? Uh, end turn, I guess? Oh, it's because you can extract if you wanted to. You just don't want to in this particular instance. Right. I want you to kill zone this area, please. Thank you. I want our shield bearer friend to uh, nip out here and to give us all a little bit of a boost. Dark Avak's going to miss out, but Dark Avak doesn't need it. Honestly, it would be kind of cheap mode to give Dark Avak shield right now. Did he still get a shield? No. I wouldn't have put it past Dark Havoc to still get a shield anyway, you know. Just because. It's fun. I could also have Dark Havoc in kill zone if I really want to do, just to stack up the damage potential. Yeah, let's let's mark this area. If they move through this zone, shoot them. Now, Midnight, I don't necessarily want you to use your abilities here. Heading out. I wouldn't mind using Void Rift, but we would hit the uh, the IP as well. You can't actually see the enemy, so you just go ahead and go into Overwatch for this one. Got it covered. So Miss Carsonell, Shenrir. Or Briar. I would ideally like them to come to Briar because then Briar could use his ability properly. What's over right, there? Shen, try and grab their attention if you can. There we go, perfect. That's right, come this way. 
A lot of shots are about to go off. Well done. And again. You've got five bullets. Shoot five times, please. Well done. Bad luck. I missed, but it's okay. I'll get him next time. Is Dark Avak really not just going to take a shot? Maybe it doesn't proc when uh, they're in... Um, when they're in stealth. That could be the case. Alright. Well... Other pistol three times at the same enemy. Well, first, we are going to go for an attack. Got a 51% chance of just killing him with this, and it's not going to end your turn. One down. What did you Thank expect? You. Now, I'm not sure if Base Off can activate at this point. Can I use Fire Fire? No. That is a shame. Well, in this case, then, the best thing for me to do is this. Firing rocket! Perfect. Removed cover, shredded armor. You've got an 89 now. You got a hundred on him or a hundred there. Or alternatively, don't you know, uh, acid's not going to affect the Andromedon. Use saturation fire. Uh, is there any way that I can get both of you in this? Oh, that's a shame. However, I should be able to move you over here and maybe catch both of you, or maybe even just over here. Shen is actually in one of the better places for your saturation fire ability right now. Blast the bomb instead. A lot of damage. It'll take out all these cars as well. I mean, it's a big ability to use for this, but it'll strip more armor, and Shen can probably finish off the Andromedon at that point. That being said, if you do kill the Andromedon, it is simply going to go into its next mode. You can't actually see him, which is crazy. No, we'll wait for a second. Shen, take it out. That gun is more dangerous to you, I think, go. than the weapon. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just not going to do damage to it. I could do saturation fire. It'll only do 6 to 8. It's such a shame that you're not in a position to take that attack. But I'll pop you into Overwatch. This is one of the best things I can do for you right now. We'll see how it wants to move. And that's it. Okay, there we go. Do some decent damage, please. Eight points of damage. Well done. Unfortunately, I think it can punch Shen at this point. No, maybe... I think it might be about to punch him. We're not very lucky. Oh, what? What? Don't tell me you didn't move that game. I saw you do it. There's acid on the floor. You're trying to trick me, but I'm not having any of it today. No. Bad game. Just take it out, please. There we go. Very nicely done. Hostiles pacified. Very nicely done indeed. Right. Okay. I need to know what on earth is going on over here. I need to know where there are enemies, where Dark Havoc is likely to uh, get unwanted attention from. Because there's more stuff here. I know there is. Shield bearer. Can you pop out here and just let me know? Is 
Is there really nothing else here? I mean, I, I guess, but it's very odd. I find it very odd. Can you get up the high ground? Throw in the hook. Thank you. Uh, I want you an Overwatch, honestly. Affirmative, covering now. This Carcinelle can't move out from her position. Midnight can't. Well, he can, but there's no point. Shen. Let's get you over here so you can shoot down I this alley if we need you to. Now, I'm going to hold your turn because you may be called upon to give me some sort of support. Sure either in your aid ability or just flat out helping with healing. Dark Abak. It's time we bring this person with us, I think. Go. You're going to enjoy this. I, and I know, I know. You want to use your sword to pacify him, but no. All right? Come on now. Don't be dumb. Your sword is for killing. Your hands, well, actually giving it to you, they're also for killing. But this time, I need you to be very gentle. Oh, you're using your gun. Oh, okay. I, I mean, it's not really Status what I was confirmed. expecting, but... Target package in custody. Scanning. Overwatch, please, everyone. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Okay, enter. <laughs> what? Hey, that was your fault for running through the acid, not mine. Oh dear lord, here they come. Thankfully, we do have Overwatch active. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was okay, fantastic! So that was fantastic. I'm totally going to accept your cockiness with that one because that was Menace amazing. Picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. In every Menace measurable way. Advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Carry unit. Thank you. You're coming with me. VIP in tow here. Well done, Doc Abak. Let's leave. I'm all over it. I know. You want to stay and kill the bad guys. Well, actually, you didn't say bad guys specifically. You just said, I want to stay and kill. But I'm being generous, and I'm assuming that's what he meant to say. Shen, uh, we could stay and play with him, but uh, nah. Let's leave. Uh, I'm going. Tombstone, down you come, mate. I hope it's worth it. Oh, it will be. And that was pretty much a perfect sure smash thing. and grab. Extract all units. Go. Be I'm out of here. Take care, midnight. You're out. Getting out of here. Same here. Ready to boogie. Also here. Evac confirmed. You too. Getting out of here. And dark Avac as well. VIP secure and in position for evac. I'd say we were never here, but we clearly left the evidence to that. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. It's fine. Right. Flawless mission. I was about to say, huh, the curse is definitely gone, but then I remembered I actually didn't bring Marvel on. Average damage per attack, 8.43. Very nice. Dealt most damage was Raura Tombstone Foxington. Made the most attacks was actually Lieutenant James Shenry's Seamus. And moved the furthest was Colonel Anarian Darkwind. The enemies didn't actually get to attack. They fired no shots. Are you going to be able to land? 
And I don't even know why we bring the Avenger over to these places. I'm fairly certain that the Avenger must go back to where it was first. Then the um, Sky Ranger has to fly all the way back to the Avenger where it originally was. So that's the only thing that would explain that long of a trip. My lord. There's no way the aliens were expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. Why, well, thank you very much. 49 kills on 18 missions. Well done. Bryson's got 50 kills on 21. Midnight, 21 kills on 11. Very nice indeed. And the VIP recovered. Jonas Ulrich. No, 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 no. You're not getting, getting out of that now. Susie, stop struggling. Another or I'll tell Dark Havoc to eat your legs. Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Best way to stop someone escaping. Eat their legs. True facts. I mean, you don't need to eat them specifically. But it adds to the intimidation factor. They're probably going to be much more willing to talk to you once you've shown a willingness to eat their legs. Right, okay. We've got a supply drop in one day. Also, more intel. You know what I fancy doing though? Scan back to what? No, really? You stole our stuffs? We were done scanning that. Ah, yes, scoundrels, you. Uh. Avenger plotting oh, well. new course. We'll wait for the supply drop. We'll ramp the episode up with that, unless another mission comes up, in which case we're just flat up going to end the episode there. See, I know you're not really over there. There are no windows on this thing. Urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Okay. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. Why, thank I you. hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. All in bonus plus twenty percent. Our monthly supply income is eight hundred and fifty. The aliens really achieved nothing. They didn't activate their dark event yet, so uh, retaliation drop, one, guerrilla ops completed, one, council missions completed, one, avenger defense completed, one, regions contacted, two, resistance rooms investigated, one, avatar progress reduced, five, side gates recovered, one. Yeah, I'd say that was pretty good. Go on then, we'll reveal it. Right, alien ally uh, padding, rural checkpoints, and new construction. The aliens set up their construction efforts, reducing the alien facility counter by two weeks. New alien facility construction is two weeks, so we really do actually want to stop them getting that right now. The next retaliation is in seven weeks' time, so it's uh, not that bad. Okay. Well, uh, the resistance has provided us with a location of a hidden resource cache. Okay, uh, well, we're actually going to be going straight there. But that'll be in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And you will be joining us for the next. As ever, I welcome any feedback and a like on the video. Let me know that you'd like to see more of this in the future. But until next time, do take care, everyone.